When Elise died, Arnold was diagnosed with permanent shook face. He started drinking, he got sad, and went into eternal slumber. But then there was an awakening. The Dead King's DLC, baby! <laughs> The Dead King's DLC, set after the events of the main game, it follows Arno Dorian as he tries to find out how to play Uno. Whilst that's happening, I'll explain the rules. I must be stealthy at all times. Once I'm in this fat red or blue zone, a nice little Indian man will shush me, meaning I can't be running and gunning my way in here. And just to add a few more nipple twisting rules because this game, oh boy, this game is easy. No damage. Nope. Stop. Seize him. I'm not allowed to parry. You see this shit? Not allowed. But if I don't parry, I take damage. Wow. wow. So to stop myself from taking damage, I must keep on rolling, baby. But when an opening appears, I stab. And then I keep on rolling, baby. All I can use is my sword. So throw assassinations into the trash, phantom blades, berserk blades, medicine, everything. Except for cherry bombs and smoke bombs. And just to make this challenge an extra bit harder, Arno will not be upgraded at all. Poof. Basic bitch. All he can use is his basic sword, which is the equivalent of using a toothpick. Look at that damage. His legendary gear will be stripped, and he's yellow. It's exactly like my last Unity video. So let's just glitch our way into this. Having lost a game of Uno, I have been tasked to find the ancient tomb of Huel. But before I get to Huel, it's your copy and pasted stealth section. In any copy and pasted stealth section, the cherry bomb is like a gift from the gods. You lay that bad boy anyway, and these soy boys love it like a fat kid loves cake. If you navigate through the courtyard and climb up this wooden object, Here we go again. if you climb through this window and drop down into this hole, Here we go again. if you jump in and drop down into this hole, you can run in, no problems. But just remember, before sneaking, always look both ways. I open in the ancient tomb of Huel and two men start being all sexy. Do you want what I want? I'm not gonna lie, I was starting to get turned on. My slobbering sound effects scared them and the guy started to run away. He was so fast. Stay back, ghosts. But then again, I was so horny. Help. And horniness always wins. Stay back, spirit. Yeah, that's the stuff. And it's time to do the next copy and pasted stealth section. Since I'm demoted to a weak shouldered bitch, I have no gear that would help me be more stealthy. Meaning, they see me more. Here we go again. So to get around that, I would have to analyze them all. Every single one of them. Which means there's a lot of waiting and a lot of anxious trotting. Jesus Christ. And that's when I stumbled upon a diary. What does it say, Arno? It reads... Haha, <laughs> I, I ain't got a clue. All I know is, I'm looking for some kid named Leon. Not just any kid, but a sexy one. Mm. Which brings me to this door. Open the door! So to find this cute little kid, something about a windmill, something about people mining, and something about people shoveling. And since I'm not in a fat, juicy, red, or blue zone, there is no Indian man shushing me. So I can either go in guns blazing, or go in stealthy. Either approach is a win-win. And that's when I found Leon. But the guy from earlier is being a groomer. You're just like me. They then take a selfie, and then Leon is about to get kissed. Kiss it. What? Blue. I was sad. I wanted to be the first guy to kiss him. After giving off a nervous fart and giving away the element of surprise, it was time to defeat these guys. Not by running away. No! It's time to face up to your fears, stop being a little puss, and fight. Usually, you can kill these two guys by learning the art of being a pinball, by bouncing back and forth and stabbing each time. They then send the beefiest guy I've ever did so. And judging by the difficulty meter, he's hard. Very hard. But this is the type of n-word to put all points into strength and none into speed. His friends split. I get given a gun. The fuck game am I playing here? The guillotine gun is like shooting a mini and I must shoot it to progress. So to avoid the rule breaking, you can shoot off to the side and kill no one. You can pretty much run through this entire section, hide up where they can't get you, and boom. One minute these guys are angry, and the next, it's all good. Me and Leon have our first fight. Why don't you grow up? Forget France. You're on your own. And then I simp over Elise. Arno, 100% of the time, is the, the danger. danger. He the is one the one who knocks. knocks. But the moment Elise comes into the picture, Elise. poof. My name is Walter Hartwell White. I live at 308. Me and Leon rekindle. I then show him a picture of my PP, pee -pee, but he laughs. <laughs> who does he think he's talking to right now? But as soon as I was about to assassinate him, he says, Meet me upstairs. What proceeded up those stairs was some of the best moments of my life. I'm gonna come. I then have to go on the look for clues. 
only they would have left some sort of clue. And none of it's related to my challenge. Leon shows me his Disney merch collection, and then another copy and pasted stealth section. But it's the same one as before. Suck the blue. But the moment you enter the hall, there's no stealth, so you can run free, baby. Where am I going? Or you can perform stealth, which requires a lot of waiting and a well-timed smoke bomb. <laughs> what the? I then have to do free puzzles. If only they would have left some sort of clue. And since I'm not the brightest bulb on the short yellow bus, I googled it. I then have to stalk someone, but anytime you follow someone, always stay up on the rooftops. But after following them, they caught me. Stop right there, criminal scum. And it was time to chase him through the busy streets of Saint Denis and tackle them. Judging by the guy's difficulty meter, he slaps. He slaps hard, but usually you can get help from NPCs by screaming help. No, if you tackle the target near the NPCs, they help. But if you're not within range, they don't. Okay. But the moment you step within range, <laughs> oh, it's on. They're up on the rooftop shooting, on the street stabbing, it's straight up rip. But it's time to go down into the caverns of Isengard to take a selfie so I can upload it to the gram. Why? It, uh, it doesn't even matter. Since there's no Indian guy shushing me, I can run. Usually, if you run past these guys, they kinda don't bother you, but the nanosecond you reach the, I Good could say, bullets, bullets are gonna spray, spray. I'm, I'm from, from Brooklyn, Brooklyn. that's, that's alright, right. phase. Oh, it's on. So always run in zigzags, so it confuses them. But if you drop a smoke bomb before you enter a hiding spot, they'll end up coming next to you and just forgetting you. You have two guards guarding the entrance, but if you use the infiltration opportunity by stealing their loot, they cause a riot. Are you expect me to believe that? What do I look like? I look like an idiot. I don't care what you believe. Everybody just calm. Which means you can climb past them, eat the smoke bomb by the guards. <laughs> Take your selfie, upload it to the gram, but what oh lies God, behind God. that door? What door? This door. But I get shot! Oh fuck, I can't believe you done- Wait, where did they just come from? Surprise, did they teleport? Even though you couldn't guess, but I was angry! Suck it blue! Look at all those men! Usually, all those men would make me a little moist, but in this case, I was scared and my nipples were tingling. I just don't know how I'm gonna get from here to there. Run. Get away from me! Uh, why are you chasing me? You can run towards the target until your nipples start to chaff, but that's when the cutscene triggers. You can't fight this guy 1v1. No, 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 no. That would be too easy. Taking on all these beefy men would normally make me lactate, but not on this day. These guys are all scary. So you can run away, climb, hide, and wait, because these guys have no idea how to climb. You can't do this to me. But you need to lure the target away from his friends. When you throw a cherry bomb, the guards will follow it, investigate it, then walk back to where they were standing. But the target doesn't think that way. He walks towards the cherry bomb, investigates it, but doesn't walk back so you can keep throwing cherry bombs to lure him to a more quieter spot. Then BAM! Sound the horn! Seize him! Attack him! And I know what you're thinking. This is Elon Musk. Sometimes he gets a bit too sexy and starts trying to tickle my nipples, so I would drop a smoke bomb to sexually confuse him and then pound his cheeks. For some reason, this guy would just stand there and get his cheeks pounded and not fight back. Which makes me sad. I then did a puzzle. If only they would have left some sort of clue! Got forced to use an artifact. I finally learned how to play Uno. Me and Leon became lovers. And my face? <laughs> my face finally reverted back. <laughs> So to answer Nat has anus clenching question of beating the Dead Kings DLC with a challenge? Yes, yes you can, but why? Anyway, subscribe because why not, and I'll see you all in the next one guys. Bye, have a beautiful time!